Hello everyone. So we are discussing who should be the best number 10 to play for the England setup. England played against Serbia and England won 1 0. But there's a lot of talk going on as to who should rather be the number 10 for the English national team. And hmm, it is really a, it's a really a big debate on social media. Charlie Ben, what's up? I did Charlie Champion. England won 1 0 against Serbia and the conversation now is is Phil Foden playing his normal position or who should play number 10 for England? What's your take on that? Um, personally, I feel like me. If you put all the, these two players, if you if you, you put uh, there's even a, a Berichi Eze, you let's exclude a Berichi Eze <laughs> now currently. <laughs> Experience wise, mm-hmm. talent wise, mm-hmm. I mean, I feel like Phil Foden is far ahead of Bellingham. In terms of number ten, this is the first. This is the first. This is his first season that we've seen him um, currently perform under Real Madrid. For, but we've seen Bellingham is a good player. Don't 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 you know? But I'm saying that. Uh, for me, <laughs> Foden is a much better player as a number than 10. Jude Bellingham as a number 10. In terms of? And, uh, apart from as all round, if you put Foden for me and Bellingham, I'll choose Foden. <laughs> People, you can have your own opinion, but I know why I, I, I am choosing Foden. Mm-hmm. Um, don't forget that Foden was the best player in the Premier League. And Bellingham obviously was the best player. In the La Liga. Or, or was he a young player or the best player? Best player. Best player. But when you compare these two, uh, t- no, these two leagues, I I, I think the best player also in Bundesliga was Harry Kane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Premier League is far ahead. <laughs> uh, so I will have that conversation when uh, Bellingham joins a Premier League side and plays the football that Foden is playing. I don't, I don't, I don't go, I don't agree with people who say that Foden is performing because of Pep Guardiola. Mm-hmm. Bellingham is also performing because of Ancelotti. <laughs> exactly. Some coaches can make you a bad player, mm-hmm. and let's just put the coaches aside and let's talk about the players, their talent, uh, their talent, and what they do on the field. Mm-hmm. You've seen how Pep Guardiola has improved, and on the, in the first match, you saw how uh, the role that was given to Fufu. I feel like Southgate has still not understood Foden and his strengths and his qualities, and his weaknesses. Too. You understand? So you can't tell me that you put Foden on the left hand side and drop him and give him this. Just give him that role. You you seen him perform at at uh, Man City, operating at the, as a as a careful number two. You saw how clinical he, he was and he at is ten and scoring goals from the ball. You understand? So why do you tell me? I I would prefer to play Bellingham as a number eight if I have the option mm-hmm. to play these two players. Mm-hmm. I like to play Phil Foden as a number ten mm-hmm. because he he's a good pass of the ball. Mm-hmm. Than Bellingham, he's a good control of the ball. Than no, 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 don't get me wrong. And when we saw some, we see somebody, he's very skillful than Bellingham. We, if we say controlling of the ball, you see how he can stand on the ball. I mean, 360 and release the ball. He's learning it. Okay. And that is the actual position. We have had these conversations over and over and over of how that he didn't want to start from the wings and he wanted to operate on. And we saw, we've seen how wonderful a season he had in mm-hmm. Manchester City. Mm-hmm. You understand? Mm-hmm. So I'm saying that Jude Bellingham is not a bad player. He's a good player. Mm-hmm. The same d- thing that Jude Bellingham is doing at Real Madrid, Foden can replicate double of what he did there. But I think I think the problem with I think Bellingham does very well with crashing the ball from the box, heading the ball into the you box. You know, this is, it, it's, a proper, you, it's a proper box to box mid for that. That be- Bellingham. Bellingham for me. But it's proper advanced modern box to box mid for that. That mm-hmm. is who Bellingham. But a modern controller number ten. To play, behind, to ar- play around the box, around the box, somebody who can find in house spaces and play very skillful, you know, can can shoot from the box. From you know, score from every angle. Uh, you understand? Very clinical when it comes to you know scoring a, a match-winning goal. You can depend on on, depend on exactly. So preferably, I would like to go for Foden ahead of Bellingham. Don't get me. I'm not saying Bellingham is a bad player. But let's play him at his actual or in his actual position. Mm-hmm. It's a box to box made for that. Mm-hmm. Who just likes to give to be given a free role to just allow him to operate. Mm-hmm. That is when you see the best. that's that's the kind of role that he was given to him. And uh, you see he's even playing you, you will see on the paper that Bellingham is a a, a, a false nine. But you see him moving all, all over the front. Because that's what he is. And that's why that's he has that strength, a proper box to box mode for that. That is why he says Zidane is his role model. I'm saying that in the number 10 position, I would like to put Phil Ford in there, yes. So, I mean, if you compare the two, I think that, so who's, who, who do you think is going to have impact on the team, on the England national team, Bellingham or Foden? Imagine if Foden is playing on number 10, Bellingham number 8, who's going to have impact on the team? 
both of them are going to have the same but because they are actually listen they are just playing their proper yeah exactly so you think i started making a mistake I, I, that's what i want to say because you can't tell me that you play trent and not alexander mm-hmm. See, I said, you Trent. can't tell me that you play Trent, Trent Alexander Arnold as an and you played him in friendly games and he was scoring goals in one man of the match in team Euros. You are going to play him as a double pivot to Declan Rice. See how he made Declan Rice suffer. Losing balls, can't stand the pressure. They, they intentionally pressed him. You understand? Mm-hmm. So just it, it, was, it would have been better if he started Adam Watson close, closer to uh, 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 no, Declan Rice. And they should then. So then the same problem comes. It means that folding. No, no. I'm saying I'm talking about Trent. You need the same. We are still coming back. So play Bellingham at where you started Trent. Mm-hmm. You understand? Mm-hmm. You, uh, clearly, you were trying to play a four-two-three-one system. Mm-hmm. So you play uh, uh, Rice and Bellingham. Just put folding. If you want a uh, play to slot in folding, and you can't put folding on the bench. No, no. But obviously, the best English play, player. Exactly. Best player in the Premier League. It's clear. No, I, I think there are two options. It's rather you probably bench your star player. Bench um folding or use him or use him in his right position. That's what I'm saying. So exactly. So if there's an option for the number ten, a proper number ten, and every journalist or every panel to agree with me, we mean that folding is a better number ten than Bellingham. Mm-hmm. So deploy Bellingham at his proper position. That's the normal eight box rule, and leave the clan right to do his normal pivot role. You understand? Mm-hmm. So let's allow you know Bellingham to go and come. I mean, in the box here and there. Just that's why I'm saying he's a proper box to box maker. Okay. So if I have these options at hand, Kopa Monta Benzakra, he just came in. That's a Kopa Monta. It's not you understand. So no, no, no. Kopa Monta cannot start ahead of Saka. No, 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 no. But no, there are also conversations concerning that Fufudi must start on from the bench and for Saka to start. No, you understand. Palmer Fufudi has clearly showed why he was the senior ahead of him at Manchester City. Yes. You won the young player of the year. Even that young player of the year was supposed to be going to Fodin. But it's just that you understand exactly. Kopam was exceptional this season. Exactly for Chelsea. And exactly. We weren't expecting and there's, that. And I think they are just there's just like one year or two year age difference. You understand? But so Fodin, like, that, that conversation, let's not have that conversation. Kopam is no it's no near Fodin. Because both of them have their own strengths and, and weaknesses. weaknesses. So in these two in this conversation, I like to just Southgate should play Bellingham in his normal role. Mm-hmm. That is the number eight, mm-hmm. and play. The reason why F- Bellingham flourishes in that role at because he has these two players. That is, he, he has runners who runs at the ball. If Kamavinga is playing this kind of football, you have assurance at the back there. If Tony Cruz is at the back there, you have assurance. And then you also have Rodrigo you on have, the right. You, you, have, you have this Vinicius players who can run and, and come back. Kudos to Vinicius. Vinicius have, have improved so much. Mm-hmm. Draws back to defend on those. That's why mm-hmm. Real Madrid and Bellingham they have been uploading. Bell- and Bellingham, whenever he, he he gets the opportunity to speak, he applauds his mm-hmm. teammates mm-hmm. because they, he knows the the kind of uh, input they put in the team for them to come out as what we see now. You understand? So I think this is a different team altogether. This is England, and everybody wants to be a star, and it will take a while. For them to agree that we want Bellingham to be a star, we want Foden to be who play the ball for Foden. I, I don't think England, Kromo, Baby, they are playing the ball for. They are just playing it for themselves. You show them, you mm-hmm. understand? Like Argentina, like this, they are playing the ball for Messi. Mm-hmm. Today we saw how Bruno Fernandes wanted to assist uh, Ronaldo so bad, but with England, Saka wants to shoot. Kupa Bellingham, wants to shoot. Bellingham, wants to, Bellingham shoot. wants to score. This one wants to score, and I mean, these are top top players, and it takes it takes a coach with character. To manage such mm-hmm. quality players, so just deploy to deploy these two players. That is Cooper and Bellingham mm-hmm. at their rightful place, and we can get the best out of them. Yes, I think it's very, I think it's very simple. You can you can just bench folding, or, or you're making people mock folding because you're making people you're making folding a bit confused because when it comes to social media, they are saying that he cannot replicate the form that he does at Man City and that is Guardiola making him. Yes, a I disagree player. with that. I disagree I mean, with that. If you think he cannot just play the left wing position or the left attacking midfielder, just drop him. Play Anthony Gordon. Anthony Gordon can play exactly, uh, uh, exactly. left fo- left left That's winger. Okay. He's a runner, and then it is easier for you to play your Benhamers in the team. clearly, these are the the type of play that I think it is rather sweet. Uh, Anthony Gordon more than Fufuden hey, because Anthony Gordon. Fufuden is not. And the thing is, you it's drop. Not, it's not the thing. The coach has a Gary Scott has a problem because. You have um Marcus Rashford, you didn't go with Marcus Rashford, you have Jack Grealish, you didn't, you didn't go with Jack you have Raheem Sterling, you go with Raheem Sterling, yes. saying that they all have form. And these are typical runners, these are people who can run to the space and probably the control the ball. want to play. And like, they will help you in the left wing position. You, didn't, you don't go with any of them. And you go, you went with uh, Anthony Gordon. With Gordon, 
Gordon. Is it Anthony Gordon? Anthony Gordon. Anthony Gordon. Yeah. You have Anthony Gordon. Anthony Gordon is a runner. And you know, you have a lot of players who want to create like and Bellingham. Bellingham wants to. Also. Ja, yes, you have Bowen too. So probably get a winger, get a runner into the box, somebody who can run. So that you can just create more channels for Bellingham to crash in the box. And, but you're playing with Foden who wants who wants, who wants to create from deep. Exactly. The same and best. Like so if you, even if you put him at the la- left side, you would like to also. He wants to come back and take the ball and be like Lionel Messi. Exactly. That's, that's what he wants to do. You understand? That's his <laughs> perfect position. This, yeah. I, I, you see, that was my f- my first time. But if you look at Portugal like this, they have Rafael Leao on the left who can run into the that box. That is his normal position. Yes, but he can also run into the box, and then Bernardo Silva will come and take the ball and try and create. So I think there has to be some balance. Exactly. You have Saka. Try and, try and get a uh, god there is no if you get saka saka is the, there is no way saka will try to drop into the middle he's, saka no, will, he's always on the way on, yeah, exactly. trying to do that but if you expect such a uh, such such uh f- there's such a performance from uh fulfilling put him on the left hand side to mm-hmm. operate from that point i don't think it's going to work and that was why we were, we were having problems at that point don't forget that serbia was we we're playing a five back system with your mm-hmm. full backs full backs you know, pinning them you understand so it, it was a lot of work of fulfilling because he had to help out uh kiran Trippier. don't forget kiran Trippier is aging he's yes. not that young player like a worker is it's not even a natural left back so if it was a player like jack ja- grillish antonio gode this this is a normal position mm-hmm. they can drop back and help in their defense and 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 go on but for Foden, you always find for Foden hanging around the middle trying to open meanwhile on paper we saw that he was trying to play for Foden from the left i mean he wanted to this, this the same issue with roberto uh, martinez, martinez trying to start all your star players in one game it's not going, it to, work. Not going to work so just create a team and you will we'll get the best out of Foden. yes so if you're going to give a lineup for for start gate which lineup are you going to give to him oh i've said it and said it. may i'll play i'll go with a four two three as he said but i'll start with uh, uh how do you call him Kieran Trippier Trippier that's how we say we saw goalkeeper first Jordan Pickford Pickford Kieran Trippier Trippier uh Magee obviously Magee. I thought he was going to start Lewis Dangwag obviously John Magee. Stones Magee John Stones Magee and I'll start uh Kyle Walker no doubt about it the best Kyle right back in the England Kyle squad. Walker Kyle Walker when I go in the middle I start uh, Jude Bellingham Jude Bellingham I said two that, that two pivots Pivot. but this one uh, Bellingham will do more for a box to box Start, uh, what we call him Declan Rice as mm-hmm. a holding with the best de- defensive move apart from Thomas Partey in the in- in English Premier League. When you go forward, just put uh, how do you call folding as a number 10? Folding as a number 10, just start uh, a bridge easy or Anthony Anthony Gordon Gordon. from the left hand side. Put my normal man, the star boy, Ukayo Saka, Ukayo and the Lionel Saka from the <laughs> right hand side, Hurricane. and put Hurricane. There, no two ways about it. You understand so you get your, your best out of them or prefer, prefer, preferably you, can, you see there was a time that Southgate had this three back system that he used to play mm-hmm. uh, using, system. that Kawaka used to play that that was part of the three center yes. just use them and get proper wing like Kiron Chukri can help over here and we can start Saka from that point Saka is good in the wings and just get a team that will help the players I think that uh Kou Palmer will understand that he's on the bench for the time being. Yeah, exactly. He just got in. He just got a, b- a good season with Chelsea, and he got in. It is not respectable that, or it's not advisable that he comes into the mm-hmm. uh, yeah, and just slow. It, it's, it will not happen. And Saka proved once again why he must start. You yes. saw how amazing was. And, I mean, the assist was, was was from him. You understand? Yeah, exactly. So I'm saying that Saka, those those. I mean, Saka Kopama has never even been a conversation. I think it was from the people folding and uh, folding uh, and Kopama. I, I can see that Chelsea fans saying here and there that Kupama should start ahead of uh, uh, folding and folding. No, no, no. Kupama is nowhere near folding. You should just understand that. And if, even folding, um, Palmer knows that, yes. Um, thank you for watching this video. We'll be giving you back to back updates on this channel. I'd like, you to, I'd like you to like this video. Subscribe to this channel. The best is yet to come. Bye for now.